Poor people and rich people have very different habits. Money itself is merely a tool and it's the habit of rich people that enable money to work for them to produce the results that they have. It is not uncommon to see poor people dress up in expensive clothes to please people while the very wealthy ones appear simple and casual. Poor people do things that keep them poor while rich people do things that keeps them rich. Money isn't taking sides with anyone. Money is neutral. If you decide to have it, you have to follow the principles. If you don't, you will remain in poverty. Having cash doesn't make a person rich. What makes a person rich is knowing how to manage cash. In this video, I'm going to share with you 9 things that are strange for poor people but normal for rich people. 1. Savings An average rich person has a lot of savings. Some are so detailed they have close to 10 different savings accounts for various purposes. Savings for investments, savings for fees, savings for lifestyles, etc. The list of things to save for is actually endless. The poor person seldom saves any money. They don't even think their income is enough. They are often in the habit of taking loans and paying later. They end up having a way lower income than they should have, which makes it tough for them to save. Well, the people, on the other hand, have a lot of goals they want to achieve. They always squeeze out a percentage of their earnings and save because they know that they will still use it in the future. Unless you get a better paying job, your financial future is not likely to improve without savings. Poor people only think of today. That explains why they seldom save. Poor people think buying clothes and accessories are investments when they are not models. On the other hand, Rich people liaise with financial professionals to make investments in stocks, bonds, and treasury bills. They try to determine which one gives the most return in order to make profitable investments. They also buy lands when they can afford it and look for investment that will save them the most tax before they invest. Poor people generally do not invest. They buy cars, houses, and things that catch their fancy if they can afford it and they wait to be promoted at work to earn more and increase their expenses. This means that they buy more of liabilities than assets. A personal car needs maintenance. It is not being used as a commercial car and therefore is bringing no money. A private house too is a liability. It requires yearly repairs. It only takes money from you. It doesn't bring in any money. Poor people are comfortable with this as long as they earn an income. But rich people want only assets that can bring in money. A job is temporal. You can be fired. But if you have investments that yield interest every month, how then would you go broke? Which would you prefer? Leave your financial future in the hands of your boss or take charge? 3. Reading personal development books Poor people find reading strange. They think it's a waste of time. They feel comfortable because they have jobs. They make no efforts to acquire any other skills that can improve them. The sad thing is that most wealth principles are contained in books, but poor people are not interested. They will rather pay for Netflix subscription than pay for script subscription that will give them access to most financial management books audio for a year. Wealthy people value information, poor people don't. Poor people prefer to loaf around with their friends than pick up a good book and read. They are vast to learning. Rich people never stop learning. They know it determines how far they will go. They read books on strategy, negotiation, sales, and marketing. They take online courses relating to their areas of interest and work very hard to learn new skills. 4. Living below their means Rich people live below their means while poor people live above their means. Poor people want to spend money as long as it is still remaining. Rich people live on less than half of their income and invest or save the rest. They make sacrifices to accomplish their financial goals. They understand that if they spend all their money, they may not be able to afford educational materials to improve their skills and allow them to pay for necessary subscriptions. Poor people think money is meant to be spent. Rich people know money is meant to be managed. Poor people see money as value. Rich people see money as a tool that can help one create value. Poor people work to be paid. Rich people make their money work for them. 5. Creating several sources of income Rich people understand that having a salary cannot make you rich. They therefore seek creative ways of earning more income. Poor people are okay with their income. The most they do is work towards a promotion. 
they don't diversify their income. If they are fired, it is big problem for them. Rich people don't take those types of chances. They understand that one source of income will not make them rich. They spend their time diversifying their income streams through assets. Some even start a side hustle and invest whatever comes out of it. Once the side hustle becomes profitable, they buy an income generating asset and start using. The more assets they have, the more streams of income they have. They do this until they can save the entire salary while leaving off their interests from assets. They are not interested in getting a big promotion that can solve all the problems. They are content to build and grow with their income. 6. Early Rising Rich people are always early risers. Poor people typically binge watch on Netflix and wake up late daily. Rich people have a lot to do, so they wake up early to get started. They have to make notes and lists and organize their day before it starts. Poor people have only one job to attend to and can afford to sleep in. The rich people who rise early and are prepared for the day, they have time to eat breakfast, relax and catch the morning bus. Poor people usually wake up 10 minutes to the time for the bus to leave and scramble to meet up every day. They don't have a defined goal guiding them. Therefore, they are not motivated to work as hard as rich people. More often than not, they have no financial goals. 7. Eating healthy Rich people care about their health and endeavor to eat only healthy food. Poor people, on the other hand, eat whatever they want. Rich people know their health is crucial to managing their wealth effectively. They don't want to jeopardize this by eating what can harm them. They also ensure their health just in case. Poor people, on the other hand, not only find their behavior strange, but eat whatever they please. They end up either obese or diabetic, and they often don't have enough money to pay for treatment. It is really not something you want for yourself. Have a food diet guide and create a food timetable for yourself if possible. That way, you eat only what is healthy. 8. Writing down goals Many poor people don't write down their goals. They neither have financial nor personal goals. They therefore have nothing to aspire to. This is a very reckless thing to do. When you live that way, you can end up clueless and confused along the line. Knowing precisely what you want can make a whole lot of difference in your life. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It can be the lines. When you have written them, read them aloud and place them where you can see them daily. Get to work. Give it time. They will all come to pass. 9. Having a daily to-do list Rich people usually have a to-do list. The goal is to help them streamline their activities for each day. It can include tasks, activities that are useful for the growth and places they decide to visit for insights. This to-do list can help the rich person recall everything he still has to do at a glance at every point in the day. It is an extremely useful productivity tool most poor people don't use. If you want to be rich, it is probably a good idea to get one. Google currently has a to-do list app. If you don't like writing on paper, you can download it and write yours digitally.